Well, hello there, Vlad here. Welcome to my studio. This is a very special video because I am launching, we are launching, I want to say we are launching a custom guitar project for me. Uh, as you might have noticed, I've partnered with Gas Guitar Works to work on my Jazz Master, and I'm also creating videos for their YouTube channel to promote their guitars. And what came about over the past couple of weeks was that I, me personally, without any push from Gas Guitar Works guy Pekka, uh, I asked, hey, how about we build a guitar for me and do like a proper build vlog out of it and all kinds of stuff and like, as you know, these things work, like build a guitar for me and place it on the channel. That's how a lot of these things work and that's exactly what we're doing here as well. Pekka is going to build me a custom gas more guitar and I specced it out already and we actually started that build project the last time I was there working on my Jazz Master and I'm really excited and the first thing you probably want to ask is like okay what's it going to look like what kind of guitar are we talking about and the answer is this that's a very rough mock-up I made of the guitar it's based on gas more which is like this offset shape but it's kind of edited from the jazz master. I'd say it's like somewhere between like a PRS body and a jazz master. It's Pekka's own design. I think it looks really, really cool. And that's a rough mock-up of what the guitar will look like. Though I probably will be designing a custom pick guard for that if it will have a pick guard at all. The pick guard you see in the mock-up is uh, the kind of official pick guard for gas more but because we are going for this crazy crazy top with the guitar i don't want to hide it as much underneath the pick guard so i'll see if i'll have pick guard at all or if i will like do a custom one i'll try to design some stuff i have like files to be able to do that i have like a gas guitar works mock-up for the gas more model so i can now like actually go and draw stuff in illustrator or photoshop or whatever i end up using so that should be fun but let's talk about specs a bit more and actually start with me at the workshop selecting some of the woods so let's jump to that clip first and then talk a bit more okay welcome to the gas guitar works workshop and yeah as i mentioned in the intro this is the shape we'll be going for this is a gas more, it's kind of an offset thing, but my philosophy of like how spec this guitar is like kind of less polish, but with some modern twists and like a bolt on neck and st stuff like that. Mahogany body, this is a one piece Honduras mahogany, which is crazy to have this kind of wood available. It sounded amazing, we just like did tapping on it and it sounds great the neck will be also made out of mahogany unless i'm forgetting this these pieces are out of old table and we'll be using one of these pieces for the guitar neck it also looks really really cool i think this is like a 200 year old table and backup managed to get all of the table and cut it into pieces to have like Templates for next, basically, which is amazing and really, really cool. Uh, this is, uh, I think it was, what, African rosewood, something rosewood, like that. I think it's called black wood as well. This thing feels incredibly dense, and this will be the, what's it called, fingerboard material. This will be used for the fingerboard. It just sounds super dense, and this is roughly the template of the neck that we'll be using on this guitar. I think it will look great. And the big thing is this. Let me circle around on the other side. This thing will be the top on the guitar. The body will be mahogany. And this is Coco Bolo. I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English. Need to ask someone who's a native English speaker, but look at that. This thing is also super dense when you can tap it by hanging it on the air or in the air. It almost sounds like you're tapping metal. It's like way denser than maple. And this will be the top of that guitar. Two humbuckers, fixed bridge. But yeah, this is how the project starts and Becca will be sending me photos and clips and explanations. Yeah, this is how the project will start. Okay, so now you know the woods I'm going for and... 
I have to say, selecting the top wood for that guitar was both super fun and kind of challenging because, as you see in the B-roll I'm putting in right now, we went through like 20 or 30 different tops. Pekka likes to collect different woods and like he, he himself admits that he's a collector and he actually has so much wood there in his workshop that he could to easily build like guitars for the next 10 years without ever buying any more wood for guitars. So yeah, I got so many options to select from and I just ended up with this absolutely crazy looking top. It just looks so ridiculously good and it will not be that color. Like on the mock-up it's too light, it will probably be darker because when you sand that and then you apply some finish on it and stuff like that, it affects uh, how it will look. It will probably be darker and I actually want it that way. I don't want the top to be like super bright and anything like that, but still see the detail. We'll see how it progresses. We agreed that uh, We'll do like initial sanding or Pekka will do the initial sanding and stuff like that. And then we'll kind of take a look at like how does it actually look and start applying like coat layers on it as well. And then we'll know like whether we want to add like some tint to the next lacquer layers or anything like that to make it darker perhaps or maybe even lighter. We'll see about that. And by the way, I probably should mention there will be like a build vlog series coming from this guitar. Pekka will send me pictures, videos, explanations. And I'll try to document the whole process to you as best as I can. That should be a lot of fun. I personally just love watching other people's build vlogs. There's something super cool about that. A lot of you people know that I've also like built a couple of guitars and I'm building the third one as well. And yeah, I just love that those kinds of things. It's like cool to see how guitars are made. And yeah, so that's what's happening. But back to the specs. As I mentioned in the wood selection thing, I'm kind of aiming for a less pole, but sound but with a bolt on next so it won't be like 100 less pull maybe maybe slightly closer to prs actually so yeah bolt on neck mahogany neck uh, will probably add like pekka has this kind of carbon fiber enforcement thing enforce i don't know how to call them basically like he'll add a couple of strips of carbon fiber rods inside the neck that should make it super super stable mahogany is like slightly softer wood and especially with finished weather conditions where we can go from like minus 30 Celsius to plus 35 Celsius and huge hum humidity changes. Most of the instruments I get here probably need to go through at least one yearly cycle be before they become really stable. There are a few exceptions to that rule, but mostly that's what's happening. So doing that will make sure that the guitar neck doesn't really move. So that's really cool. Uh, Indian Rosewood fretboard and then I wanted to go for block inlays because this is a less pole, if you will. I want to go for block inlays. There's something like retro and rock and roll about it and it makes the guitar look a bit different and it matches well with the kind of maybe like Tele style headstock Gas Guitar Works has. And I like that look a lot. And 22 frets, I think we'll probably go for Jumbo, stainless steel frets. And Pekka is the only luthier in Finland besides Ruokangas that does the rounded fret ends thing. It's insane amount of extra work, but boy, oh boy, the guitar feels different to play with those. So absolutely we're doing that. And stainless steel frets, uh, not sure about the tuners yet. Something locking probably. I've gotten used to locking tuners just because it makes swapping strings so much faster. So we'll do that. Then a fixed bridge, uh, something in the style. Let me grab the guitar. Of what this Harley Benton Amarok actually has, like this slightly telly style, but not really tough bridge, so like a fixed bridge. I'm not sure if we'll be doing like a string through body or anything like that, but yeah, this type of bridge. And again, it's not less Paul in that sense, but it should get us close enough, I'd say. And yeah, 22 friends. And one important thing, we'll do a 25 inch scale. Uh, usually the gas mower is actually 25 pole fine, so like the fenderish scale, but because less poles are 24.75, uh, we wanted to try something in between. So again, it's a PRS scale, 25 inches. Uh, using that scale will not only affect the sound a little bit, but it will also affect how it feels to play. And I'm really interested to compare that to like my 24.75 inch scale instruments and all the 20. 5.5 inch scales I have over there. 
Was it 24, 25.75, 24, 25.5, I think. I'm losing it right now, but you know what I'm talking about. Pickups wise, I decided to go with Pekka's idea, which is this kind of humbuckers that he designed himself. I had one of his uh, gas more models here at my studio to shoot the official video for his channel. And I absolutely loved how those pickups sound. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can check out how that guitar sounded. Mine won't sound exactly the same because different body woods, different type of bridge. That guitar had like a master bridge, so that affects the tone quite a lot. But yeah, that thing sounded amazing and I thought I would try those pickups out as well. And I want to keep it simple, so like a volume, tone and a three-way pickup switch. But Becca kind of suggested that I would probably like if we put at least like coil split thing into one of the knobs, either the tone or volume control. And I'm happy to do that. I'm even actually open to the idea of like having like push pull pots on both of those for them to create cool sounds, but they're kind of out of the way if I don't want to use them. So that would be fun. But yeah, if you have any questions about the company or about the guitar or anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, stay tuned for the build blocks. I'm excited about this project. Now this is going to take several months before the guitar is ready, just the nature of building guitars, but yeah. I'm excited. Like, share, subscribe, uh, what else? Comment, <laughs> merch, courses, stuff like that in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time.